hope you're doing well. Today's video is a tag video called Scent the Town Red. And in this tag, I'm going to share all my red bottle fragrances or fragrances that represent red color to me. This was a tag started by Sally Marion and I will put her information in the description below. First up is Samsara from Gehla. This is one of my all-time favorite perfumes. It's a stunning oriental woody perfume. It's very strong, very long-lasting. This one has a lot of flowers like jasmine, iris, violet, rose, narcissus. It has peach and in the base it's got sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, amber and musk. To me this smells more like a floral sandalwood fragrance. It smells very very floral. The flowers are very very prominent and so is the sandalwood. And it smells just very decadent, very rich, very expensive smelling fragrance. And it's very elegant and it's such a gorgeous fragrance and the performance is just outstanding. It is quite a powerhouse kind of a perfume. It has a beautiful sillage, lasts really long, an absolute stunner this one is. Next up is La Fille de Berlin by Serge Lutens. I have done a full review of this perfume and I will link that in the video. Now this guys is a beautiful rose fragrance. This is all about just the rose. The rose is a little bit sweet but quite dark and velvety and a bit incensey as well. And this one is a very smoky fragrance and also smells very dusty. It's a very realistic rose fragrance you get the rose you get the green leaves you also get the thorns so it's quite peppery as well it's a beautiful deep rose fragrance the longevity is about average and projection and sillage is not much it stays quite close but still a lovely fragrance if you like rose fragrances i highly recommend this one to try out the next one I have is C Passione. This is a much fruitier, fresher, even cooler version of the original C. It has amazing projection and sillage, it lasts very long. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this. It has a bunch of fruits like pear, blackcurrant, grapefruit, pineapple. It also has pink pepper and rose, heliotrope and jasmine. And in the base, it's got vanilla, cedar, patchouli and amber wood. It's very strong, intense and long lasting. And it's also very versatile. It easily goes from day to night. It's a great work scent. I find I can wear this in any season, any occasion. And I find this one more wearable than C. C is more warm weather fragrance. It's very cozy, but this is a bit more cool. But I think because of the fruit, this one is more versatile and it can be worn throughout the year. Quite a gorgeous fragrance. Next up is a fragrance that has been in almost everybody's list, everyone who's done this tag, and that is Gucci Rush. Now, this is a really beautiful, heady, sensual fragrance. And to me, this is a very typical night out clubbing perfume. Very long lasting and intense. Although the newer version, the newer formulation is not as long lasting and intense as the previous one used to be. But it's still just as gorgeous. You can spray a little bit more. This one has peach, gardenia coriander, rose, jasmine, and patchouli, vanilla, and vetiver. So this one is classified as a fruity sheep herb, but it's a very modern sheep herb, beautifully done. And this is my second bottle. I used to wear it long back and I bought it again because I missed having this one. Next up is Nahima from Gerla. This is one of the Gerla classics. This one is a beautiful, crisp, green rose perfume very very sophisticated very glamorous smelling almost like red carpet kind of a perfume it has aldehydes rose and peach and it also has that hyacinth which makes it a bit cool and green and it also has a bunch of other flowers like lilac lily ylang ylang rose jasmine and in the base it's got passion flower balsam vanilla vetiver and sandalwood the rose in here is slightly syrupy, quite sweet, but the hyacinth kind of balances that and it just smells really gorgeous. Very well made, very sophisticated fragrance, a very dressed up fragrance as well. Very long lasting, gorgeous perfume. Next up is Lauren from Ralph Lauren. This is Ralph Lauren's first perfume for women. Now this is a very beautiful, warm, soft green floral fragrance. It has rose, carnation and violets and it also has a lot of spices, it has pineapple and in the base it's got oakmer, sandalwood, cedar and vetiver. A really gorgeous fragrance, very long lasting, very feminine, very very elegant fragrance. I primarily get a lot of spices, florals and woody notes in this and also it's very green. 
And even though it's a fragrance from the late 70s, it does not get cloying because of the green note. It's still very wearable and absolutely beautiful. And I think this makes a really great work fragrance. Again, very versatile, goes from day to night, pretty decent lasting power and very sophisticated. Next up is Red Roses by Jo Malone. And I chose this because of the name Red in the bottle. This for me was love at first sniff. I bought this after looking for a rose fragrance for quite some time. I had tried a few others, but this is the one that I liked the most. I've talked about this fragrance in my rose perfume video as well. But this one does smell like red roses. This is a beautiful, beautiful, very natural smelling rose fragrance. It smells exactly like freshly cut roses. And it's quite lovely and it does have tremendous sillage and projection. I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. It's a very sweet rose fragrance, but it's also quite green, so it does not get too sweet. However, this one does turn a little bit bitter on me after a few hours. But if I spray it again, it's again nice fresh roses. But one of the best red roses fragrance out there. And again, this one is quite versatile. I love wearing this in spring, summer and even early fall. Quite gorgeous. Next up is Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford. This one is a very beautiful jasmine fragrance. The jasmine in here is quite indolic, very sensual. It's what I get is mostly jasmine and a bit of neroli and some spices. This one has a beautiful, warm, woody, ambery dry down. The only problem with this one is it does not last very long. While it's there, it's amazing. But for the price, I wish it would last at least five to six hours but this one lasts barely two hours or so and it's not very big on projection or sillage either except for the first 30 minutes so that's something to consider but it's still a gorgeous fragrance next up is red by Giorgio Beverly Hills I have talked about this one in my affordable perfumes haul this one is such a classic it's a gorgeous beautiful fragrance a powerhouse fragrance it smells very strong amazing projection and sillage it's a very woody, ambery, floral fragrance. It also smells very spicy, very earthy, and also a bit minty. So there is a bit of coolness in this, despite all of the other warm, intense notes that are going on in this. This one has fruits like cherry, peach, blackcurrant, and lychee. It also has aldehydes and a whole bunch of flowers like hyacinth, langalang, osmanthus, orange blossom, carnation, rose, tuberose, jasmine gardenia iris lily of the valley pretty much every flower that goes in a perfume is in here and again in the base note it has a bunch of notes like oak moss myrrh amber sandalwood olibanum tonka bean patchouli vetiver vanilla and cedar so a whole bunch of flowers a whole bunch of fruits and base notes this is the kind of perfume that will fill up a room it's of perfume that will tell everybody that you've arrived to me this one is also a red carpet kind of a fragrance quite bold very sophisticated very decadent and very loud this will not be my everyday fragrance but i will wear it on days when i want to feel a bit special a bit glamorous or when i want to stand out i will reach for this so those were my red bottle fragrances guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you've not already done this tag, please consider yourself tag now. And do let me know what red bottle scents you have in your collection. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Remember to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.